If you watched the game last night, you might have noticed a little bit of something at the end of this game. This tiny little detail as Sam Darnold was getting tackled in his end zone that somebody was actually grabbing him by the face mask and he got pulled down. And if you noticed it, congrats. You noticed something even the refs didn't catch. But people were blown away by it because honestly, it's unacceptable. And I, for one, prefer no calls late in the game to allow for higher adrenaline players to make plays. But come on. Even Young, who made the tackle, immediately knew that it was a face mask and couldn't even pretend to be excited about what just happened. But what if I told you it was worse than you think? And you may say, Isaac, how is that even possible? And just you wait. Let me take you to first quarter, third and seven. Stafford throws it over the middle, but a Viking player was touching the jersey of a Rams receiver, so they call it defensive holding. I'm not sure if I agree. I don't think the announcers agree. I really didn't see much of anything. If it was on seven. But you know what? That's neither of our call first down Rams on what should have been a fourth down. Later in that drive, third and seven, Cup runs an out route and Gilmore tries to break it up. It's a little bit of bang bang at full speed, but when slowed down, hey, Gilmore is there early, giving the Rams their second first down off of penalties with his pass interference. Cut to third and 10 in the second quarter. Stafford looks, he's flushed out of his own end zone, then throws it away. But the back judge, ironically, notices 52's hands get a little bit high on this pass rush, and though he's primarily on the center's collarbone, it gets up close enough to the the face to call it an illegal hand to the face. Now, I'm not saying I hate this call, definitely not saying I love them, but I'm just saying that these were the calls that they have been calling. And there's one more that we're going to talk about, okay? And that's this little hand fighting with Cooper Cup that was so disruptive to Cup that he was still able to turn around and essentially make a full-on catch with no disruption. But they call another pass interference call, and there you have it, four first downs given to the Rams off of flags. Now, none of these are technically wrong, and I'm not going to sit here and argue if they were right or wrong, but they were called on the defense, which means that they're trying to call a tighter game for the defense and give the offensive team more leeway. But why it's so bad is because how are you going to call this style of game and then turn around in the most crucial play of this drive and just not call the obvious face mask? And this is up there with being as bad as the pass interference call with the Saints and the Rams all those years ago, but it puts the Rams up by two scores and is literally something that you cannot do in this moment. So I think somebody has to answer for this. This is, this is quite frankly a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, he got that face mask. He sure did. Yep. 